Hey everyone, welcome back to Sibro. In this video, I will be sharing the best way to fix Roblox error code 403 authentication fail on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. This is the updated method that I really tested on many PC and laptop and it's really working. Alright, so let's quickly get started and if you find this helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe. The first thing that you will have to do, you need to make a right click on your Windows icon, then click on run. And in the run box, you have to type percent local app data percent again, and then click on OK. Now here you have to look for the Roblox folder. So keep scrolling down until you find the Roblox. Once you get it, make a right click on it and choose delete. Once deleted, you have to close it. Now next, what you need to make sure that there is no VPN connected right now. Alright, so what you can do, you can just click on your Windows search, type VPN, then click on VPN settings. And if the VPN has been enabled, you just need to disable this option. Or any kind of VPN has been manually connected, then you need to disable that option. Alright, similarly, you have to do with the proxy. So for that, you have to click on your Windows search, type inetcpl.cpl. Hit the enter key. This kind of box will be coming up. Now here from the top menu option, you have to click on connections, then click on LAN settings and just make sure the proxy server here has been unchecked. If this option has been checked, you may have such kind of problem. So just uncheck this option and the rest, everything will be remaining the same. Then click on OK and apply. Next, click on your Windows search type appwyz.cpl, hit the enter key and here you have to look for Roblox. Once you get it, click on it and choose uninstall, then click on yes. And once uninstall, you need to come to roblox.com forward slash home. Come to this website, click on any of the game. Then click on this play green button. And then it will say to download and install Roblox. So click on it and the downloading will be started. Once downloaded, you have to click on Roblox, then click on yes. And now this will be configuring Roblox and installing the Roblox player. So once it will be installed, we have to run a few different steps. And after that, you will find that your problem has been fixed. So let this quickly get installed. Then I will show you what are the next two steps. And once it will be installed, you have to click on OK. And then you have to click on your Windows search type allow an app. And you will be getting allow an app through Windows Firewall. Click on these options. And now we need to add the Roblox in the Windows Defender firewall exception so that any of the file related to Roblox cannot be blocked. So once you come here, you have to click on change settings and then you have to look for Roblox here. If you find the Roblox here, you need to check the box and even just check the options of private and public on the right hand side. But I can only see the Roblox beta and the Roblox launcher. I cannot see the Roblox player. So in order to add the Roblox, what you will have to do? You need to click on your Windows search, type Roblox. Then you have to look for Roblox player. Once you get it, right click on it and choose open file location. And then copy the path from the top address box. Click on it, right click and choose copy. Now you can close it. Come back to this firewall page. Click allow another app. Then it will ask you the path. Click on browse. And then on the top, paste the path that you just copied. Paste it, hit the enter key. Select Roblox player, then click on open, then click on add and this will be added. Now make sure that the private and the public option has been both checked from the right hand side and then you need to click on OK. Now finally click on your Windows search type CMD, choose run as administrator, then click on yes. Now here you have to type few command that you will also find in the description. So the first one will be NTSH space INT space IP space reset. Hit the enter key, then you need to type NTSH space winsock space reset. And then final command will be IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Alright, so once these commands are completed, finally restart your PC and your laptop and even the router and then check back again. I'm pretty sure that your problem will be fixed. So that's all guys hopefully this solution will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and still if you have any problem any question then let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye